Hey, how's it going on guys? So in this video, we'll discuss about this problem, 2 sum. Given an array of integers, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. So let us consider one example first. So in this example, we are given this array and the target is 9. So if you see over here, we have two elements, 2 comma 7, which sums to 9. So we return their indices that is 0 comma 1. So now let us see how we can solve this problem. So this problem can be solved in multiple ways and in this video we will discuss about the two ways that is the brute force approach and the hash mapping approach. So let us go through the brute force approach first. So in the brute force approach what we are going to do is we are going to consider all the pairs in the current array. So actually in order to consider all the pairs of the current array we can simply run a couple of loops. So let me just show you the code for this thing and uh, I will try to explain it to you what I am doing. So what I'm doing over here is we, I'm iterating i from 0 to the end of the array and j from i plus 1 to end of the array. So initially i is going to be over here and j is going to move from here to here. So we will consider the pairs that is 11, 7, the 11, 3, the 11, 15 and 11, 10. And at each point what we are doing is we are checking whether nums of i plus nums of j is equal to target or not. So in case we have this condition satisfied, we will simply return the i, j. Correct. So once this complete iteration for j is done, we will increment i and i will be over here and then j will move from here to here. That is, we will consider the pair 7, 3, 7, 15, 7, 10 and similarly, we will consider all the pairs. So this algorithm is correct. This will give the correct solution, but this might throw a TLE. So let, now let us directly move to the hash map approach. So in the hash map approach, what we are going to do is we are going to create a hash map. So let me just create the hash map. And in the hash map, we will have key comma value. So what we're going to do is we're going to consider all the elements as the key and the indices as the value. So if we, if you see, we have 11 with its value as zero, that is index zero. Then we have seven at index one, three at index two, 15 at index three and 10 at index four. Now what we're going to do is once we have created this hash map, we are going to iterate over the array given to us. So suppose we are over here. So in case I'm picking this element, that is in case I'm picking 11. So the second element should be 7, 17 minus 11, which is 6. That is in case I'm picking 11, the second element should be 6 so that their sum is equal to 17. So we'll check whether this 6 exists in the hash map or not. So if you see, we do not have 6 in the hash map. So we, have, we will simply move the pointer to the next element. Now for the next element, you will see 17 minus 7. So in case you're picking a 7, you need a 10. So we will see we will, whether we have 10 or not. So if you see in the hash map, we have 10 with the index 4, correct. And why do we need this mapping for the value and its index? The reason being we have to return the index. So over here, we will have the index for 7 and we have already stored the index for 10, which is 4. So we can simply return this is index 1. So we can simply return 1 comma 4, correct. So in this way, this algorithm is going to work. So this algorithm works in time complexity of O of N. So if you see, we have traversed over the array a couple of times in this algorithm, first to create the hash map and then while we are iterating over the array. So actually you do not need uh, two passes or two traversals. You can do this thing. You can solve this problem in one traversal only. So let me just show you that thing, how we can do that. So let me just clear the screen first. So what we are going to do is we are going to be over here. Now, initially our map is going to be empty. That is we have key comma value and it's going to be empty. Now what we're going to do is in case we are picking 11, we will check 17 minus 11. Again, the same thing. We'll check for six. Do we have six? We do not have six. So in this case, we will simply put 11 with its index as zero. Then we will move to the next pointer that is over here. And we will check for 17 minus seven, which is equal to 10. Do we have 10? We do not have 10. So we'll simply store seven with its current index. That is one. Next, we will move to the next pointer that is over here. We'll check for 17 minus three. Do we have 14? We do not have 14. So we'll just simply store three comma two. Next, we'll move to the next one. So we'll check over here, 17 minus 15, two. Do we have two? We do not have two. So we'll simply store 15 with its index three and we will finally move over here. And over here, we'll check for 17 minus 10, which is seven. So we will check, do we have seven? Actually, we have seven. So we will simply have this index and we have the index for 10 as well. So we can simply return this thing. So this is similar to the previous solution only, but uh, this only works means uh, the time complexity are also same. There is O N, but this is a single pass solution. The previous one was a two pass solution. So let me just write the code for this thing and then things will be more clear. So let us consider null cases first in case nums equal equal null or nums dot length equal equal zero. We are done a 
plan. So always remember to write the null cases in case you are an interviewer. So interviewer is looking for these things. Next, we'll create a map of integer comma integer. Let us name it as map equals new hash map. Next, we will iterate over the current array. Let's int i equals zero i less than num dot length i plus plus. We'll check. We'll create a value called say complement, which is equals to target minus nums of i, and we'll check in case it is present in the map. In case this value complement is present in the map. We will say we have found one pair, so we will simply return new int i comma map dot get of complement, and we will simply put the current value that is nums of i with the index i. In case we are out of the loop, we will know that uh, we are not able to find any pair, so we will simply return a null. So this looks clean. So let me just run this code once. So let me just submit this. And it got accepted so i guess that's it from this video in case you have learned anything from the video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you may consider subscribing to my channel thank you